I receive one tin of 300 pre-rolled cigarettes, approximately 300 cigarettes, every 25 days from the federal government. And here it's hermetically sealed with wax to try to keep the freshness and the strength up. This marijuana was actually grown right here in April of 1996. So it's been packaged and frozen since then. And then you open it up. Okay, inside you'll see that there's approximately 300 rolled cigarettes to this tin. and sold by a cigarette machine. What this can means to me is for the next 25 days, I don't have to worry about medicine. That I know that I'll be as well as I possibly can be. And that I don't have to worry about if somebody's going to bust my door down and come arrest me because of this medicine. The disorders that I suffer from are multiple congenital cartilaginous exostosis and a variant of the syndrome pseudo-pseudo-hypoparathyroidism. In lay terms, what it means is bone tumors that grow outwardly from the long bones such as this grow outwardly into the muscles and the veins, stretching the muscles and the veins, making it very painful. But more important, any kind of movement can tear the muscle or tear the vein, and I could hemorrhage and a clock could break off, go to my heart, my brain, my lungs, I'm dead. I usually try to get in, if I can, 10 to 12 marijuana cigarettes per day. What the cannabis definitely does is relax the muscles going over these tumors, thereby I can move and, and not have to worry about tearing anything. So I'm ready to go to work and, and I try to make some money for myself and my clients, more important for my clients. Uh, when people see me taking my medicine, they don't understand that it's medicine, and they think all I'm trying to do is get high, and that, and that I've got you know some kind of balls to be able to do it, do it in public. Of course, I try to explain to them right away that it's medical use provided by the federal government, and I'm sure most people just kind of laugh and go, "Yeah, right." I became the second person in the United States to receive medical cannabis from the federal government. Good morning, neighbor securities. Just a moment. All right, we're back. I'm a stockbroker. I'm a professional person. I handle a lot of money on a daily basis. Go for some help. I, you know, I'm a good, productive member of society. I pay lots of taxes, and I'm able to do that because I use marijuana. Yeah, I'm calling about that option we talked about. Did the check come in from Whiting today? What I like about this is the diversification. Cannabis doesn't impair my ability to think, to act, to move, to do anything I need to do. If anything, I think it sharpens my decision making, especially at work, because now I'm not concentrating on my pain. Hold on one quick second. Rip Rosenfeld? Yeah. I'll, I'll... All right, I'll go ahead and take care of it. All right, bye-bye. I've got to be sharp, I've got to handle millions of dollars on a daily basis, and to do that, I need to smoke my cannabis. Everyone, yes. I want to a little toast and just thank you for all my family and for being here and have a great meal yeah, and thanks again right. take care yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how beneficial it is I know how well I am doing I know how bad I was without the marijuana and so I'm just so fortunate to have the medicine that I can get up and go to work every day I can provide a living for my family I can do all that because I have this medicine all this is is a weed that was put on this earth and it's beneficial, it has been through centuries. Let the states do what they can. And the federal government's given them no choice. And that's what's gotta be changed. It's gotta be based on a federal level. George Bush Sr., who was running for reelection, didn't wanna look like he was soft on drugs, and so he decided to close down the program so nobody else could get on it. He grandfathered the 13 of us in so we didn't sue the government. It's ironic when you've got something legal that everyone else could be arrested for. That's what's so bad about this fight, is that people that are sick that need the medicine aren't getting it. They're being made criminals, they're having their life in turmoil, especially if they're arrested, and it's just not right.